In today's video, I will show you how to install macOS Sequoia and Windows 11 together on one USB drive, allowing you to use it as a full dual boot system anytime. This method is specially useful if you have limited internal storage or if you want to experiment with different operating systems without affecting your main drive. So stick around until the end because once you learn this method, you will never look at USB drive the same way again. First, we need to prepare our USB drive. For this demo, I am using a 1 to 8 GB USB drive, but you can use any fast large capacity drive that you have available. Plug the USB drive into your Mac and open this utility app. From the view menu, select show all devices. Select the top level of your USB drive and click on the partition button. Create two partition on your USB drive. The first partition should be at least 17 GB while the second partition should use the remaining space on the drive. Format the first partition as macOS Extended Journal and the larger partition as APFS. We will use the first partition to create the macOS Sequoia bootable USB and the second partition will be used to install macOS Sequoia. Once you have configured the partitions, click the apply button. Please note, this process will completely erase the drive. So make sure to back up any important data before proceeding. Since my drive is empty, I can proceed safely. After partitioning, close the Disutility app. Next, open the App Store. Search for macOS Sequoia and download the installer. After downloading macOS Sequoia installer, open your terminal app. Type sudo, then add a space and navigate to your application folder. Right click on the macOS Sequoia installer and select show package contents. Now open the contents folder, then the resources folder. Find the file named create install media and drag it into the terminal window. Next, add a space and type dash dash volume. Add another space and drag your USB drive into the terminal window. Press enter. You will be prompted to enter your login password. Go ahead and enter it. Then hit the enter key. When asked for confirmation, type Y and press enter. The process will now begin. Please be patient as it may take some time. Once completed, your macOS Sequoia bootable USB drive will be ready. Now it's time to install macOS Sequoia. Restart your Mac. And from the boot picker screen, select your USB drive. Once in macOS recovery, choose the macOS Sequoia installer and follow the on-screen instructions. From here, choose your USB drive larger partition. The installation process is the same as installing macOS on an internal drive. Everything runs automatically. After a while, macOS Sequoia will be fully installed on your USB drive. After installing macOS Sequoia, we need to adjust our partition again. Let's return to this utility to prepare the drive for the next installation.
In this utility, select the partition size for Windows 11 based on your needs. I am not removing the macOS Sequoia bootable partition as I want to keep the option to install macOS Sequoia on any compatible Mac in the future. If you prefer, you can remove it to free up additional space. Now it's time to install Windows 11. First we need to download the Windows 11 ISO file. For that, visit the Microsoft website to download the latest version of Windows 11 ISO. Once you have the ISO file ready, we will download a lightweight tool called Windows Install. You can find the download link in the video description. This lightweight tool allows you to install Windows 11 directly from the ISO onto your USB drive or even an internal drive without the need to create a separate bootable USB. Make sure to download the latest version of this application. After downloading the app, unzip the zip file and then run the application. The user interface is clean and simple. In the select a volume section, choose the USB partition where you want to install Windows 11. Next. Drag and drop your Windows 11 ISO file into the app. You will see all the available Windows 11 editions along with their corresponding index numbers. Simply select the edition you want. For example, if I am installing Windows 11 Pro which has index number 6, I will choose 6 here. Now click the install button. The app will prompt you for your Mac login password, enter it and that's it. The software will automatically install Windows 11 onto your selected partition. Once the installation is complete, you will see a notification. At this point, you can simply close the app. Now Windows 11 has been successfully installed on our USB drive. But to make it run smoothly on a Mac, we need the right drivers. For that, open the Bootcamp app. Go to the Action menu and select Download Windows Support Software. Save these drivers to anywhere on your Mac. After downloading the Windows Support drivers, copy them to your USB drive. We will need them later to complete the setup of Windows 11. Now, restart your Mac and on the boot picker screen, Select the Windows 11 partition. Wait a moment as Windows completes its initial setup process. Now, set up Windows 11 according to your needs. If you stuck here, simply press Shift plus F10 to open command prompt. Type a small command to bypass the network requirement and hit the enter key. Your computer will restart and the Windows 11 setup will continue normally.
After installing Windows 11, the next step is to install the bootcamp drivers. To do this, simply open the drivers folder that we saved earlier and run the installer. Follow the on-screen instructions. Now restart your Mac. After restarting, you will notice that Windows 11 is now running smoothly on your Mac directly from the USB drive. That's it. We now have both macOS Sequoia and Windows 11 installed on a single USB drive, ready to dual boot anytime we want without affecting the internal drive.